Lesson 11.11 .11 is called one-to-one -one and function definition. Uh, you should remember that a function has to pass a vertical line test to even be a function, and then there's a more specific type of function that's called one-to-one. -one. That means it's going to pass the horizontal line test as well. So there should only be one point on each vertical line and one point on each horizontal line. And so we're determining which one of these is uh, the best description of the graph. This looks like a cosine graph because I see it starting middle, going low, middle, high, middle, low. It is a function. It's going to pass the vertical line test if I were to slide my pen here. So it is a function, but it's not one to one because on a single horizontal line, look how many times it touches it. Lots and lots. And this keeps going forever and ever and ever. So it is a function, but it's not a one to one function. Number two is a cube root function. This is going to pass the vertical line test. Even here, this looks like it's vertical, but it's, it's curved. So it passes the vertical and it actually passes the horizontal as well. These lines will go up just a little bit and this line will go down just a little bit. So it is actually a one-to-one. -one. The square is not even a function because it doesn't pass the vertical line test. So I don't have to worry about one to one. Obviously it doesn't pass the horizontal line test either. Four and five are or pairs. You wanna look at your X values and you wanna look at your Y values and nothing should repeat. So my X values are zero, four, three, nine, five. That makes it a function for sure. And then my Y values are six, seven, nine, zero, seven. I see a seven occurring twice, so that means it's not one-to-one. -one. So it is a function, because no x's repeat, but it's not one-to-one -one because the y value repeats. Number five, you can just look at it. There's two, one, five, nine, six. That is a function. And then four, nine, five, one, zero. Those are all different too, so it is a one-to-one. -one function. All right, number six. We gotta think about what the shapes of these equations look like. You also could graph them, but we know any linear equation is a function. So it's not that one, this is which is not. Absolute value makes a V shape. You can look at my posters on my wall. That is a function. Passes the vertical line test is all we're worried about. Tangent of x, you've never seen, but all sine, cosine, tangent functions, they're a function. They make some kind of curve like this that repeats over and over and over. But yes, that is a function. This is not a function. You can't even get y equals out of this because you have y being squared. That is gonna make some kind of circle. And that is actually a circle equation there. So that is the one that is not y so can't be y squared in it okay number seven which equation is not a function this could easily subtract x over and this is y equals negative x plus three that's linear so that one is a function this is a quadratic because i see x squared that is a function y equals x minus four is obviously a function x equals pi. Think of pi as 3.14. When I have x equals a number, it's got to cut through the x-axis at that point. So it's a vertical line, which is not going to pass the vertical line test. So that is not a function. All right, eight and nine get a little harder because now we're trying to determine, is it actually a one-to-one -one function? So I want you to definitely look at my posters on my wall now and figure out which two functions that you see are not one-to-one. -one. And I'll give you a hint, they have symmetry over the y-axis. And that's what makes them not one-to-one -one because they don't pass the horizontal line test. And so that would be, hopefully you found them, quadratic, because that would be this shape parabola does not pass a horizontal line test 
and then absolute value, which is oops, a V shape, and it does not pass the horizontal line test. Another thing would be polynomials. Polynomials are just multiple terms with higher exponents because sometimes what they do is they curve and so they're not going to pass a horizontal line test. So this one says which function is. Um, let's see here. You could graph this on Desmos but since this is x cubed and then an x squared this is not a cubic function. Cubic functions don't have an x squared term only an x cubed. Kind of like we'll talk about in the second one. So this is some kind of polynomial that will probably curve somehow. So it's not going to pass the horizontal line test. So it's not that one. This could easily be written as one fifth times x cubed to minus four. Cube functions just go like this and they do pass. So that one would be the one that is. X to the fourth functions are like quadratics but a little flatter on the bottom. So that's not going to pass. And then this is another quadratic and that's not going to pass. And then number nine, which one is? We have x squared plus 8x. That's a quadratic opening down. That is not a one to one. We have x to the fourth. That's going to be just with the flatter bottom but still like a quadratic. That is not. That is y equals mx plus b. That is. And then that's absolute value opening down. That is not. So kind of process of elimination using what you know. Also, if you need to graph it, that's fine.